times they threatened you, the times they belittled you, they don't keep a track of all of that. Though they know how they are treating you, but because of lack of empathy, that's none of their concern. Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves. So today I'm going to talk about narcissists and their selective memory. And before I get going, I would request you all to like, share, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell, so you guys are updated whenever we put out a new content. So, I mean, let me confess. I have a problem forgetting things. I really don't forget things, yeah? I mean, uh, I mean I'm, I'm not into holding grudges, but I, I really don't forget the way how people treat me or, you know, whatever happens with me. I, I keep a record of it. I, I do remember all of it, yeah? And uh, that helps me to protect myself, yeah? I really don't, uh, you know, um, forgive those who disrespect me. I really, you know, don't give, uh, you know, those individuals another chance who mistreat me, who don't respect me and who don't treat me right, yeah? I'm not into giving chances, yeah? And, you know, overall, you know, um, remembering things, I mean, the way how, you know, uh, people treat me or, you know, the kind of memory, you know, that uh, we accumulate in our life. I think it, it helps, it, uh, it helps and it, uh, you know, uh, definitely has an influence as to how we move forward. Yeah, we all don't have the, you know, problem of uh, amnesia where we are just forgetting, you know, things and we are restarting, you know, every morning. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't work that way, yeah. We do, you know, um, remember things, yeah, that is, you know, uh, something which has touched or influenced or, you know, uh, hurt us at a deeper level. So we, we tend to hold on to those memories, though we don't keep on ruminating, we don't keep, uh, you know, thinking about it, but it is there, yeah, that helps us with our boundaries, that helps us with our limitations, it helps. Yeah, and of course, I mean, I, I uh, see such memories as a helpful tool that helps me, you know, uh, plan things out. Yeah, I, I will not plan things with someone, you know, who mistreats me or disrespects me. Yeah, I will not, you know, plan things with those who are expert in, you know, betraying me and not keeping their words. Yeah, not, uh, you know, uh, keeping their promises. I will avoid that, yeah? So, you know, memories does help you, yeah, in a lot of ways, yeah? I am not, you know, isolated from people or I'm not uh, in some jungle or on some island away from humans. No, I do interact with people. But yes, I, I have a room up here where I record everything. And I think that's the, you know... Uh, purpose of memory yeah that's the use of memory to record the you know incidents to record you know how you felt yeah it's it's basically you know the way how you feel about things if you have some deeper you know feelings about things or if something some incident some situation has touched you or moved you on a deeper level of course it gets registered automatically as memory yeah so you know I mean, it helps me. No. So narcissistic individuals are like you and me. They also have, you know, their set of memories or whatever they have collected this far. But narcissistic individuals are into even using their memories, yeah, to further gaslight and manipulate others. I'll tell you how. So narcissistic individuals know what they are doing with you, yeah. They remember everything anything and everything it's just that every time they will abuse you or treat you badly they are going to forget that but when they do tiny bit of superficial things for you they are going to remember that and they're going to keep on reminding you yeah they are going to remember the good times they had with you or when you had good time with them that good time is often misunderstood that good time is not good in its essence and core that good time is basically manipulation future faking superficial good stuff yeah nothing deep so you know narcissistic individuals 
you know, are into selective memory. So they will not tell you the times they have betrayed you or, you know, broken the promise or never kept their words. Yeah, the times they threatened you, the times they belittled you, they don't keep a track of all of that, though they know how they are treating you. But because of lack of empathy, that's none of their concern. They wanted to do something with you, so they have done. And rules don't apply to them and they're least interested to know your side of story what you are going through, what you are experiencing. So narcissistic individuals are into using selective memory. They will use those memories that can empower them, those memories that can enable them, those memories that can protect them, support them, yeah? Uh, those memories that can help them, yeah? So narcissistic individuals are going to, you know, forget every time they abused you, exploit you, manipulated you. They will, you know, put forth a word salad. Well, I did this for your greater good. Well, I did this in your best interest. After all, I'm your this. I love you. Do you think I can do bad for you? We know the drill, right? So narcissistic individuals are not going to, you know, uh, tell you, you know, the time or the uh, you know situation or incident where they you know were very uh, vile with you where they treated you badly they are not going to you know recall that moment they are not going to recall that time and tell you hey uh, I, I didn't treat you right I'm so sorry they are not going to do that Narcissistic individuals are only into cherry picking and using selective memory so they are going to recall the good things they have done for you to further make you feel indebted, guilt trip you. They are going to, you know, uh, selectively use, you know, the past experiences. Yeah. And I, I really doubt the, you know, genuinity of those experiences, you know, which the narcissist, you know, narrate because most of those experiences that they narrate is manipulated. Yeah. It's not uh, honest and real. It's not... Uh, you know, um, I would say uh, something that is authentic. Yeah, they fabricated, they manipulated, they cook up stories. Yeah, and that's how they, you know, register and keep, you know, um, these experiences as stories and incidents. And they keep bringing it forward and they keep using it as a bargaining chip. You have got no idea what I went through, how she treated me, how he treated me this and that, you know. So, you know, they have selective memory. They will only talk about, you know, such things. They will only, you know, have memories of such incidents which will enable them, which will empower them. They are not going to tell you when others made them feel good. They are not going to say that, yeah. Because uh, they are not into, you know, having this, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of an appreciation and gratitude towards the others. They feel entitled and it's the duty of the others to do things for them. So they are not going to recall when they were helped by someone. They are not going to recall when, you know, they were appreciated by someone. They are not going to recall. They are not going to, you know, bring up those instances and incident and you know go and thank so and so person they are not going to do all of that so narcissist is basically into using selective memory to enable themselves to protect themselves yeah and to aid themselves yeah so they are not going to you know tell you uh, where all they made mistake yeah remember in a narcissist you know world uh, everything is his or her way, yeah? Everything is screened, manipulated, fabricated, facts are withheld. You know, it, the entire facade is based on lies, yeah? There is no genuinity, there is nothing honest, yeah? It's all lies. Some of them are expert in playing victim, some of them are expert in projecting themselves as you know, someone who's very religious, spiritual, someone who's the know-it-all type, someone who's grandiose, they have different kinds of projection. But the core of all such projection is lies, withholding facts, manipulation. It's not based on facts. So narcissistic individuals are into using selective memory. Yeah.
they will treat you badly but they won't remember and if you try and you know tell them hey mom you really did not treat me well well they are going to use their role well i'm your mother i can never do bad for you i i i didn't think or i didn't know that you felt it this way i was doing it for your greater good a narcissistic partner might just abuse you and when you confront them and tell them i didn't feel good they might say oh but i i don't think i i did any such thing i mean i i did not uh, you know do it intentionally uh, maybe you are thinking it that way i didn't mean to hurt you they won't be apologizing they won't be working on themselves they're going to gaslight you in return yeah because that helps them evade any kind of responsibility and accountability yeah so they are going to do a number on you well you are thinking it that way i was just trying to protect you i was just you know helping you yeah so narcissistic individuals control anything and everything i mean in their life as well as the lives of their you know supply source and narcissistic individuals you know um, control you know uh, the information yeah that they expose their victims with they don't you know tell everything honestly yeah because they fear losing their supply yeah they really don't want to be seen as the bad guy or the bad girl so with a narcissist it's very difficult they will selectively remember things though they have you know a track record of everything but they use their memory selectively they will only remember the things when you know they were very kind they were very helpful they sacrificed this and that they will remember the time when they were brutalized wrong by people people betrayed them i mean depending on the role or depending on the kind of projection they are you know into so you know they are going to remember those stuff but the good things that you do for them they are not going to remember the bad things they do for you they are not going to remember yeah that's how selective it gets so it's it's very difficult to confront a narcissist because you know uh, they have inability to self reflect yeah and uh, they lack empathy so it's all about them you can go to hell yeah they really don't care your problem your feeling your emotion is none of their concern but you have to prioritize their feelings you have to prioritize their emotion you have to prioritize them you have to make them your top priority if you fail to do so you are not good enough even though you have you know spent your entire life money savings to please them but you are not good enough yeah so that's how smart and manipulative narcissistic individuals are and that's how they use selective memory they will use only those memories that will enable them help them protect them and you know um make them more powerful they are not going to use the memory uh, to have an open conversation they are not going to use a, a, you know their memory to resolve things yeah to have a rational discussion yeah they are not going to get into all of that it's always their way and we know there is no other way yeah. so yes this was it in case if you would like to add in something you can always comment below till then take care of yourself lots of love and blessings to all of you bye